When you think about where you live, what do you think? Is it a big capital city, a large town, or a tiny village? It's remarkable to think that six out of every ten people in the world are expected to live in urban areas by 2030, and there will be a lot more people then too. The experts call this urbanization, the gradual increase in the proportion of people living in urban areas. So the thing about urbanization is that we've sort of been led to think of it as a bad thing. And it's true that cities take up approximately 2% of total land, yet they consume 60% of global energy. They are also responsible for 70% of greenhouse gas emissions and contribute to 70% of global waste. Yuck. Throughout modern history, urbanization has been a major driver of development and poverty reduction. But it all happened a bit quickly, and we didn't really get control of it allowing cities and towns to spread in a sort of random way, and that has come with huge challenges. This is called urban sprawl, by the way. We really need to change the way cities and human settlements are planned, developed, governed and managed. Otherwise, it's all going to get a bit out of hand. UN Habitat is the United Nations agency that deals with human settlements. Not just cities and towns, but even smaller settlements, right down to the most rural village. We just love cities. We think, and we have talked to a lot of experts about this, that we need to rethink the way we approach this to make sure everyone can benefit from the process of becoming urbanized. We believe that urbanization should actually be a tool for development. So if we do things right in cities, and we make them inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable, it will benefit everyone. More fancy talk coming. In the UN, this is called Sustainable Development Goal 11. The really great thing is that the benefit of this spreads way beyond cities themselves and right into rural areas, and that's good news for the 40% who aren't living in cities too. So that all sounds good, but how do we do it? The new urban agenda is a document that guides action towards achieving this goal. When working with cities and governments, UN Habitat focuses on five main areas. Number one, national urban policy. That's like the government level commitment to get the stuff done and who's going to do what. Number two, urban legislation, rules and regulation. We need some rules about all of this. Good ones about stuff like the height of buildings, preserving public space. Number three, urban planning and design. We should be aiming for somewhere between 30 and 50% of land designated to public space. Number four, urban economy and municipal finance. A city must collect revenue for good local infrastructure and to provide economic opportunities. Number five, local physical implementation. Cities will always grow. Retrofitting is a lot more difficult and expensive than planning in advance. We already live in an urban world. Let's make it a better one for everyone.